This is how short this movie was. <laughs> it's it's daylight back there. And we did not go to, this wasn't like Irving and I going to see Tarzan where we saw it at six, so it was still daylight. No, we saw it at like seven and when it was over, I didn't necessarily think like, boy, that was short. I just looked down at my phone to see if I had any messages and I looked at you and went, it's only 8.30. Like, and like, okay, the, the build time on it, uh, was seven, uh, but and, they're doing, yeah, they're doing like a new thing here at AMC, so there's like stanchions and ropes every fucking where. It, yeah. it took me and Letty probably like 20 minutes to get a drink. Like it was like legitimately, it was 7.20 when we entered the theater. You mm -hmm. were already in there. And we got in right as like the Suicide Squad trailer was wrapping up and it was getting ready to like, and now your feature presentation. So it was 7.20 mm -hmm. when it was just then starting yeah and it was 8 35 whenever we're like it's like well the credits are already rolling that's got to be some long credits i'm imagining so yeah this thing like actual movie time clocks in at a cool 70 minutes i mean i never this was like the length of like haunted house yeah <laughs> No, and that no, was totally. the quickest like, sit I've ever been to an actual like theatrical release. Of the devil inside. That was quick. So that'll happen when your third oh, reel yeah. is missing. <laughs> that'll um, happen when you didn't finish the movie. Like this, I didn't feel like that with this movie. It's got a beginning, middle, and end. Yeah, the, like, and there's no like weird sudden jumps or anything. Like no, uh -uh. It, it, it feels, no, it didn't go Fantastic Four on us. Yeah, it feels like probably everything that was filmed ended up on the reel. Yeah. They, they just didn't film that much. Uh-huh. And the movie is, uh, it, it's fine. Like, uh, the, the, it's, it's heads or tails above something like the darkness or, uh, <laughs> other side of the door, shit like that. But it's, of the horror movies I've seen recently, it's no conjuring too. Um, but it was fine. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, uh, you know, as far as things that end up with like, like James Wan's name attached to it, like, mm -hmm. like I I went into it optimistic and like yeah. I don't feel let down. Uh, I would much rather see like this than something like like fucking Annabelle. That was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The the movie it it's got its creepy moments in it. It certainly does. Like I wasn't. I mentioned this outside. I was like I wasn't really thoroughly scared as the movie was going on, but I was entertained throughout the movie. Uh, what the movie lacks in a lot of really scary moments, it does make up for in at least giving me a story I'm invested in, and good characters, and really fucking solid acting. Yeah, it, it, it's solid casting, and uh, the, uh, the, the, the main girl... She was really good. Yeah, I, I, I'm I, at a loss to know if I've actually seen her in anything mm -hmm. else or not. Uh, like, Letty and I were trying to figure out, like, who she looked like. It was like, so like, it's like, like, Kristen Stewart I and... I could see that. I, I thought that someone. a couple times. I thought that a couple uh, times in the movie. Way, way more talented and less blank-faced than her. But, uh... But no, like, I thought it was a good pairing, too. Like, her and Maria Bello, like... You yeah. Actually, like, like, I'd be like, you know what? Like, yeah. Fuck, they might be related. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's one of those, like, like Vera Farmiga and Thaisa Farmiga type things. Yeah. Where it's, like, <laughs> it's like, oh, she could play the younger version of her in a movie. It's like, uh -huh. oh, they're fucking absolutely related. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. And Maria Bello is always great in a movie, but when you get crazy Maria Bello. You know, twitchy and shit. <laughs> even better. There was a, a significant portion of this movie that reminded me a lot of the Babadook. I could see that, but I, I kind of like how this was basically like it took that concept and kind of flipped it on its ear because it's the kid like who absolutely knows like that shit is wrong, mm -hmm. and the mom who's like, no, no, it's it's fine. Like it it, it changes the whole like how, it's always like the kid who thinks something weird mm -hmm. and the parent who's absolutely like like no, it's. Go back to bed. Like, you're fucking crazy. Oh, and the Duke, the kid realized shit was going wrong when mom went fucking Jack Torrance on his ass in the second yeah. half. A, a little bit. Not exactly, but similar themes, like, 
the loss of her husband, um, Maria Bello being the crazy mom in this movie. I think The Babadook's a way better movie than this is, but this was still solid. Um, we got poor Billy Burke in the opening scene. The movie gave it uh, in the opening scene. I'm like, oh sweet, I didn't even know he was in this. Yeah, like it it, it opens and it is fucking Billy Burke sitting at yeah. his desk. I'm like, nice, cool, yeah. <laughs> Dressed like he just like 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 this like his part was filmed in between takes on like fucking Drive Angry. <laughs> yeah, like the kind of like the weird silk shirt that's like half unbuttoned for no reason, <laughs> like. When he popped up at the beginning, it was like going to see The Grudge in the first minute. When you're like, I didn't know Bill Pullman was in this. <laughs> and then, oh, well, he's not anymore. <laughs> well, that was in and out. <laughs> yeah. And Billy, at least Bill Pullman, I think, came back later on in that movie. No, Billy Burke, he's, he's gone. Like, oh, well, it, it was nice while it lasted. <laughs> What about, let's talk a little bit about that family portrait. My <laughs> God, I I fucking was laughing openly when they showed this family portrait. Mm -hmm. Like it, it pops up once or twice during the film, but the first time you see it is, uh, he's, uh, he's like FaceTiming with his kid, and his kid's like worried, like, hey, mom's getting real fucking weird, she's mm -hmm. talking to people, like, and you're like, I don't know, maybe she's just, she's got like schizophrenia, mm -hmm. like, it's kind of vague they keep just saying depression but it definitely seems like they were leaning towards no she's schizophrenic like, mm -hmm. like everyone is just assuming that she sees fucking people yeah it's just that she does and you mm -hmm. can't <laughs> but uh uh but he's 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 facetiming with him and then he's like all right slugger well i gotta go doesn't say i love you or anything <laughs> then you would definitely know he's gonna die and then, boop, ends the call. And then uh, on his desktop is literally nothing except this horribly, horribly cropped photo. Like, I'm talking like, just like the, it's like pillar boxed, like you're trying yeah. to watch like a fucking like VHS tape on like a widescreen. It was, it was weird because it's like, okay, <laughs> usually when there's a picture in a movie, Typically, it's photoshopped. I don't know why. Like, I, I never know why. I'm like, can't like, you just get these people together? Yeah, there, were, there wasn't like one um, time when you could be like, okay, don't wear the same stuff you're going to wear in a shot. Uh -huh. Stand outside. Click. All right, now let's go film this thing. This was not only that, but it also looked like they didn't finish the picture because there was no <laughs> background. There was no, like, typical photo backdrop that you see in family photos no yeah, it, it was, was just it was gray. just this flat yeah gray wall behind them mm -hmm. like they got the picture taken like in prison yeah like did they not <laughs> finish this picture like it's like we need this and we need it for the fucking computer shot uh -huh. now today yeah <laughs> and then they show it again later in the movie and i'm like <laughs> Stop showing that. Come but <laughs> but it's fucking preposterous because the kid is like a little like mm -hmm. a little bit to the side of center. And Billy Burke is kinda like leaning in, like yeah. kind of got his arm around him. And then Maria Bello from a completely different photo looked like she was fucking posing as the wife in American Gothic. Yeah. Just standing stock still way the fuck away from them. It's like, like that, it, it looked like she was standing far enough away. It looked like you could easily just, if you just color black all over her, she could be like the ghost has creeped in to like take a picture with them. But yeah, it, it made zero sense, especially with it being like a posed thing, and it mm -hmm. looked like they went to like the most depressing J.C. Penny photo booth. Yeah, but like, like I say, like they're like like kid here, Billy Burke, and then Maria Bello just standing up over them. So the picture is this weird scale. <laughs> So it was like the kid and Billy Burke are here, and then there's just all this blank space, and then blank space, her, more mm -hmm. blank space. I'm like, who the fuck was responsible for doing that? Like, I could make a more believable picture of those three actors with like their like headshots from fucking IMDb in yeah. five minutes with my phone. <laughs> like, it, they didn't have enough time, man. They had to get this movie out quick. Fuck, like. It, it, 
and I mean, it was definitely, definitely apparent, like, especially because he's in no other scenes with anybody other than that one girl. Like, no. it's like he was never around with, like, at least with Maria Bello. I mean, it looked like that may have actually been him in the picture with the kid. Yeah, that looked fine. Maybe that looked fine because it didn't look as cartoonish as the other one. Maybe if we looked at that picture on its own, we could spot something with it. <laughs> but fuck, I mean, at least do what they do in, like, a lot of other movies where they're like, oh, here's pictures of, like, you know, like, Travolta and, like, you know, someone else. Like, they're like, oh, here's Travolta and De Niro as, like, kids hanging out in the Bronx. And, like, they just, like, kind of, like, scale their faces mm -hmm. on the other people. Like, they couldn't even have, like... Like, just take a picture of, like, a family of a similar shape and just, like, map their faces on it. <laughs> it already doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. You can at least try to make it look yeah. better or at least look less At least worse. the bodies will be in the same shot or, or all there together. Yeah, but, but fuck me. Like, that That was just, like, immediately, like, f f f fuck, what? <laughs> the real, I thought the same thing. Like, I was snickering, too. Like, um, but the real hero of this movie is the boyfriend. I love that guy. That guy was my favorite character in this movie. Yeah, no, he... <laughs> that guy has the... Pa that character had the patience of a goddamn saint. <laughs> like, if I they... Mean, just, like, the shit that she was putting him through as far as, like, labeling the relationship. After, like, eight months. Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh, I'm your boyfriend. He's like, oh, oh, you're my boyfriend, are mm -hmm. you? It's like, we've been dating for almost a year. It's like... <laughs> Okay. This wow. poor guy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like I mean I'm not dating anybody else if it, I mean but yeah. I mean you're definitely it's like So this guy just nothing just She is really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> like like it seems like the rules are like like he can't hang out with her during the daytime mm -hmm. and he can't stay the night. So there's just like this weird like window of like evening each night where they get to see each other mm -hmm. and then he has to leave. Yeah. It's the like, relationship is kind of like the ghost of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, if I was him, I would start like assuming at a point like, F are you married? Like, <laughs> Are you a Russian spy? It's like, it, <laughs> are you secretly married and your husband just happens to work like second shift? Like I gotta yeah. get the fuck out of here before he gets home at 11? Mm -hmm. like, like what the fuck yeah. is going on? <laughs> This guy, and they set it up really hard that you think he's going to die. Spoiler, oh. spoiler, he doesn't, because that would have been so sad for this guy. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ, like, I mean, they have him do, like, the entire fucking, like, it's like, it's his last day on the mm -hmm. job. Yeah, like, she I finally puts a label on their relationship. She gives him, like, a all, drawer yeah, and the all dresser. All he's wanted is, like... <clears throat> Like, to keep an article of clothing at her place, yeah. to, like, like, s vaguely seem like he actually is dating her. Yeah. And, like, it, she routinely shoots him down on that, even. Mm. It's, like, like, he even tries, like, hiding a sock in her, like, dresser, and she throws it back at him before he yeah. leaves. And it's... This poor guy. Like, so, like, it's, it's, like, it's definitely one of those things where it's, like, like I thought for fucking sure he was dead dead because mm -hmm. yeah i mean he's just standing there like it's like like hey i don't think you're crazy no matter what i'm staying right here and she's like thank you like you're not to mention like, they like, even start like, saying like yeah like you're my fucking boyfriend i i'm not too scared to say it anymore i love you and they also i'll give you a drawer split up for reasons where it's like okay are they just splitting up so he can die because this is a situation yeah, they where they like, really should all be sleeping in the same room they kept every chance they had to make him go do something other than being in the same room mm -hmm. with them they took that opportunity like every time they go anywhere <clears throat> as soon as they get there her first thing is all right now i'm gonna go upstairs and you stay out here mm -hmm. in the car they go inside the house. All right, I'm going to go over there, but you stay here in the front room. Mm -hmm. They get the kid and go back to her place. All right, we're going to stay here, but you go get groceries. Yeah. They go back to the house like, all right, we're going to go sleep upstairs, huddled together in the light. You sleep down here in the middle of this giant open floor plan house. Yeah. With one light on. It's like, all right, yeah. 
We got this. All right, I'll, I'll be down like here how, if you need me. <laughs> like, like every how, chance she gets to be somewhere that is not mm-hmm. next to him, yeah. they take it immediately. I'm like, this poor fucking guy <laughs> is going to die just because he really likes her and she thinks he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now, like, they make it look like he just drives away and leaves when, like, the ghost is trying to kill him. And he gets I away in the car. I fucking laughed when that happened. Me too. I was like, that's what it took for him to have enough, like, a ghost ch- trying to murder him. But no, he does come back. I was like, he's probably going to come back. Like, he's, I'm sure he's he's either going to come back with, like, a shotgun or, like, he's going to bring cops with him. And he Which, brings the cops with him. The, the acoustics in this house, just, just to mention his driving away scene, are absolutely crazy because like there's points when like like people are yelling and screaming getting thrown around like on the first floor and people on the second floor Mm -hmm. at the top of like this gigantic like this place is practically a fucking mansion yeah and at the top of this gigantic staircase they can't hear that happening Mm -hmm. like then it's like five minutes later like somebody peeks out a door like hello Mm -hmm. is anybody out here it's like you didn't hear all that but then later they're they're like trapped in the basement which geographically looks like it's in the center of the house is where like the door to the basement Mm -hmm. is and it's a gigantic basement that basement's bigger than my fucking apartment uh and they're at the bottom of the staircase so they're geographically in the center of the house Mm -hmm. but then they can hear him like start the car and drive away and he's already parked at the end of the driveway he's not even next to the house with the car I mean, I could kind of see that in the dead of night when there's no other sounds going on. Yeah, but they're screaming in a basement in the middle of a house that previously, like, like, like being in the house a few feet above where all the screaming is happening, people couldn't hear. The cop didn't. The, yeah, the cops heard him when the cops walked in. Um, well, no, I just mean like, like, yeah, like when when sound needed to travel for oh. the plot. You could hear through anything. I I, I kind of know. I didn't have, I didn't have that problem with the sa- the sound issue. But what I had, what I was getting confused about was more so I wasn't. The the ghost is effective. It's a creepy looking ghost. Like they 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 use it they use it pretty well in the movie. But there were often times where I wasn't entirely sure of the rules of this thing. Yeah, it, it seemed like sometimes. There's there's some shots where it appears in a room that's slightly dark. Yeah. But still has daylight pouring into it so you can mm-hmm. backlight it against like the door frame. But then there's other times where like as long as there's like a candle burning, it can't attack you. But then it does attack but then, yeah, with a candle. It, it seems like and I guess as long as you have a black light pointed at it, you can burn it with the light. Like Yeah, it seems like in the it, I don't know. It makes it. It makes it seem like, like at other times, like whenever they turn on the light, like she just vanishes. Mm-hmm. Like if she was in like mid pounce and you flip on the light, she that, doesn't like land on you. It's not like she's invisible except in the dark. That part with the the cop shooting the gun at it was pretty cool. Yeah, like, yeah. Like the, the, <laughs> like keeps advancing through like the strobing muzzle flash. Yeah, like, that was really cool. I thought that was a cool shot. Yeah, but yeah, it's like it. it 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 makes no sense how it can because like uh, that flashback scene where it's like in the closet like like trying to write something on a notebook. Mm-hmm. She turns on the light in the closet. And you just see the notebook hanging it like this high, and then it just falls to the floor. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like she disappears, but then other times like it seems like she's still there, just invisible. Because like with the black light thing, like you could just see her like walking around. Mm-hmm. It's like so is she there all the time? And also like. <laughs> Normally, when you shine a flashlight at it, it would disappear. But it doesn't. But, it yeah, doesn't if, when if you have the if you have, you have a black a, light, light and a flashlight. Then it like causes burns, like uh-huh. it, like she's a fucking vampire. Or something. Yeah. So maybe about ten minutes should have been added to this movie because there were because yeah, it, there like, were times where I, I just wasn't really sure the the mechanics of this ghost. Well, because yeah, like like I said, like it it. She can only appear in in a shadow. Like it's like if if her foot is in the shadow, she's okay. But not all the time. Like sometimes like 
she's backlit and there's like light spilling into the room and she's okay to stand in that. And she's friends with Maria Bello but wants to kill her family. Like I don't But then but then like other things too, like like that one scene, like she appears and she's just like on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. It's like okay. But I guess I can take that because there's two thing there's two things that all that often annoy me in movies like this that aren't in this movie. It doesn't do the fake out dream sequence. Surprisingly. It, yeah. And it doesn't do the Bloomhouse Bagul jumping at the camera in the last shot of the it's movie. Like, oh man, finally everything BAM! Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it doesn't do those two things. So I guess like I guess I can live with it. I don't totally understand this ghost. Like, the movie is, you know, when it's effective, it really does work. And that's, I think that's largely because the performances are really good in this movie. Like, there are, there is a few creepy uh, scenes in it. Like, when Maria Bello is trying to calm the kid down to try to get the kid to talk to the ghost. Um, yeah, that, that was, was a pretty creepy scene. That was really unnerving. Like, you mm -hmm. can really see, like, the, like, like that kid genuinely felt panicked like I, yeah. I honestly like like Letty was kind of mentioning like like I genuinely think that that kid probably has issues now yeah yeah <laughs> like, like he seemed really fucking freaked out every time the lights flipped there is stuff like that that really works about the movie the the, the climax is that the movie is thoroughly entertaining even when there was moments where something spooky is supposed to be happening but I'm not really scared because I saw it in the trailer um even then, I was still entertained by the movie. I was still, I was still rooting for the characters. Well, that just pissed it off. <laughs> it's an uninvited mm -hmm. reviewer in here, fucking ladybug. Yeah. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Can't. It's, it's almost like it's designed so that I can't fuck with it. Off-screen ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the movie? <laughs> no, but like it. It was entertaining, and uh, with all the problems I had about the movie, like it, uh, there was nothing that pissed me off or anything like that. Like it, it was still an entertaining movie, and it's a quick set. There's enough good, solid performances in it that re that really do bring out some suspense in in a lot of the scenes. Uh, enough for me to say, like, if you go see this at like a second run theater or something like that, you'll get your money's worth. <coughs> oh yeah, mm -mm. but it's. it's <laughs> It kind of makes me laugh, though, if you think about the the ending of the movie. Mm hmm Is it has, like, your typical, like, it's like, we survived the night, like, everything's mm -hmm. gonna be better tomorrow type ending. But, uh... <clears throat> for whatever reason, like, this movie is... Like, I don't know if, like, the guy who wrote this, like, was... <laughs> taken from his home as a kid or something but like mm. this movie like like the sort of secondary villain of the whole film is child protective services oh <laughs> and uh because they they get called because the the kid is falling asleep in class because surprise surprise mm -hmm. he doesn't sleep all night there's this guy with knives for fingers <laughs> Like a couple of the musical cues even sound like the musical cues yeah, from Elm Street. Yeah, I was picking up on that And the fact that it was too. like New Line Cinema is like, it's like I almost wonder if they just borrowed some stuff. Man, if oh man, if this movie had been made in the eighties, it'd have been great because you know Rustler would have been the boyfriend. Like, oh fuck yeah! <laughs> of course, if this had been made in the eighties, nobody would have called Child Protective Services. <laughs> That's true. They wouldn't have been in this movie. You have to go see. Fucking Nancy's see. falling asleep in class, and all they tell her is like, "Go home." Yeah. <laughs> you had to go see Kramer versus Kramer for that shit. Leave that out of my horror movies, thank you. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, like they call child protective services, and like the sister ends up taking like the little brother home with her, and mm -hmm. of course, like to, they end up like following her home. And like, look, you can't just take a fucking kid. There's all these rules. If you want him to live with you, you've got to do all these different things. You've got to, like, do all this stuff against your mom. you got to, mm. like, present your case to the court. Otherwise, if they don't like you, he's going to end up in a foster home anyway. All she had to do was, like, he's my brother. We're having a sleepover. Yeah, that would have been the easiest yeah. fucking solution. But 
but that's what struck me there at the end of the film is like, like, well, it, spoilers, I guess. <laughs> like, yeah, like, m to kill the ghost, basically, like, Maria Bello has to kind of, like, sacrifice herself because they're, like, mm -hmm. tied together. Yeah. But as a result, now it's the boyfriend, the older sister, and, the, like, the, the little brother. And they're all, like, like hugging together in the mm. back of an ambulance. Like, it's like, it's okay. Like, we're all going to be together forever now. Like, mm. it's like no one's ever leaving anyone ever again. Because, like, abandonment is a huge running theme in Which this is story. another thing that reminded me of the Babadook. And, uh, but then that, that just made me think. is like, it's like, no. Like, DCFS is taking that kid. Like, you are still not a fit guardian for Well, him. I mean, like... <laughs> I think after a little bit, the kid will be able to stay with her. I mean, yeah, eventually, but for the foreseeable future, mm -hmm. that kid is going to go live in someone's home. <laughs> or just, just a, gotta, a home. She's just got to hide the bong. She'll be fine. <laughs> Throw away everything she owns. Yeah. Because all she owns are like... like She's got some posters. Sandman books. Yeah, all uh, she owns is like... It's like... I, I'm, I'm sorry, like, I own a lot of weird shit, and I've owned a lot of weird shit in my past, and I know a lot of people who own weird shit, but that place looked like somebody just went in and was like, can we move all the clothing racks out of this Hot Topic and put a bed and a dresser over here? That place looked like an apartment that's probably above a tattoo shop, which it is in this movie. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that, that makes sense. Yeah. But, like, that, this is the sort of thing, too, like, if somebody, like, was looking for the tattoo shop and accidentally walked up mm -hmm. her staircase and into her apartment, they would probably sit there for an hour, like, is Kevin almost done? Like, mm -hmm. this is my house, like, you gotta go, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong place, sorry. One more thing I'll say about this, um, I guess it'll be my final thought on it, is these movies just show me that... At every insane asylum, there's just always somebody walking around with an 8mm camera. <laughs> right? You ever notice that about movies like this? Like, whenever there's a flashback scene, which there is in this movie, a flashback scene to something going on in a mental institution, doesn't matter when it's taking place or anything, in this movie's case, like, 84, I think they said, it will be shot with like an eight millimeter camera with the tick, 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 like it's like a snuff film all of a sudden. <laughs> well, and, and going with that though, it, it, and it's again, like it's that weird sort of thing that we keep seeing with stuff where a flashback, which should rightfully be set in like, like the seventies or eighties mm -hmm. looks like it's the 1950s. Yeah. It was the exact same problem I had with, um, uh, the forest. Yeah. All of the flashbacks in that, like mm -hmm. the flashbacks of her being a kid, were in like 1961 yeah. for some reason. It's like, no, like she is mm -hmm. not like 57 years old. Like she is like 25 yeah. tops. Or, like, like and, and that's the same with like, like these flashbacks of like Maria Bella at this place. Like, like, it is straight up like it's the fucking fifties. Like the like, remake of Elm like, Street did that. Yeah, mm -mm. But yeah. Even like like the the outfits that like the uh, when it does like the eight millimeter flashback mm -hmm. thing, like showing like like the doctors and the nurses and everything. Like like it is the fifties. Like all the equipment they're using is super fucking old. It looks like fucking like House on Haunted Hill. It, like, exactly. <laughs> I guess something went wrong that caught this girl on fire. <laughs> that was the thing too. I didn't understand. It's like it's like they said that uh, she had a skin condition in which her her skin was super sensitive to light, mm -hmm. like the others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but even though she could go outside in broad daylight with an umbrella, apparently, yeah, like. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's still not good, but I mean, it's not, like, the worst thing. Maybe she should stop wearing fucking short sleeves. Mm-hmm. But, uh... I could sort of wrap my... This one, I could... If I thought about it, I could sort of wrap my head around. I'm like, okay, it seems like 
either one of two things happened. They shined enough light on this girl that I guess incinerated her, or but she yeah, just like, accidentally like, got caught on fire. They they said like they tried out a new light therapy and yeah. it killed her. And all it shows is like pictures of this operating mm -hmm. chair with like just the scorched outline mm -hmm. of a human body on it. Like like but detailed enough like you could see like individual fingers on the hand rest. Mm -hmm. So it's not like she like caught on fire, it's just like she just suddenly like like just spontaneously like burst into ash. Cause there's like chunks of like ash mm -hmm. in like like uh like what look like like burnt embers after like you put out like a campfire. Yeah. It's like what the fuck just happened? Like what kind of lights did you turn on? <laughs> yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, this movie really should have been about fifteen minutes longer. There, 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 there's some things well, needed to be explained. And especially after they added in the part about, it's like, oh yeah, like, everybody widely believed that Diana had, like, the ability to get inside your head to influence your actions. Mm -hmm. It's like, so she's also, like, psychic? Or, like, in addition to everything else, she is also Patrick? Like... Yes. Like, I don't know what the fuck they're like. They're implying that she mm -hmm. can also get inside your head and make mm -hmm. you kill yourself like she did with her parents. And then she gets inside Maria Bello's head and makes her think that they are lifelong friends. But apparently gets inside her head enough to where after she's dead, she's able to re-manifest herself as a physical presence. I guess I it's can... Like, I guess what I can the let fuck that go. Was she before? <laughs> I guess I can sort of let that go in the sense that I guess I guess with all these ghost movies, or not all, but a lot of them, someone will die and come back as an evil entity. Cause, like, I, I guess I could sort of let that part of the movie go, but like, <laughs> yeah, it, it seemed like like there was a lot of mythology that they kind of worked on, and then they're like. Mm -hmm. Well, we're never going to answer these questions. Like, these people aren't going to find this out. Like, just... <laughs> like we'll just let it go. Just, I don't know. It's just, that's it. It's, um... <laughs> I mean, I... Because they never look any farther for answers other than, like... It's like... Finding out, like... She had a friend and she died. Mm-hmm. And, like, Maria Bello flips out when they start asking her questions about that. Mm -hmm. Despite the fact that... An hour earlier, as they, they say whenever the kid leaves the house, an hour earlier, she freely gives that information to to the younger brother. Yeah. And also has Diana appear in physical form in front of him. Mm hmm It's like, and she's like, what? My friend? No. I don't, what? Hey, uh, hey, mom's crazy. But God. then, like, when she shows her that picture, too, like, well, isn't this you and her? It's like, where did you get this? It's in your office. It's like, it was hanging on the wall in a room that's right next to your son's More bedroom. realistic photo than the one with you and dad. <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, I was like, like, that was hanging on the wall. Like, as soon as she opened the door, it was directly across the room. Mm -hmm. Like, she went almost straight to it. It's like, how the fuck have you never seen that? Do you not live in your own house? <laughs> well, she did run away a long time. She's probably very high. <laughs> that was established. Um... Would you recommend it? Like, oh yeah, I, I would. Like, uh, like honestly, as much as, as much as we're honestly harping about this movie, it's not boring. Like it, it, yeah, I mean, it isn't. Like, and, it, and, and it's a quick enough sit. Like, like yeah, like we keep mentioning, like, like another ten minutes here, another fifteen mm -hmm. there. Like, it wouldn't have hurt it. But at the same time, it's like, I don't feel like unfulfilled, like, like God, there was so many loose ends to this, I just can't, I, I am not going to sleep tonight, yeah. I will just lay there, <laughs> like, why, how did, how'd she mm. get burned, how'd she get burned, how did she get burned, <laughs> like, I'm not going to be, like, that pissed about it, it's like, it's like, there was some weird stuff in that, Man, I liked it, it was like, like I say, it's 70 minutes, like, yeah. it doesn't wear out its welcome, and I feel like that could have potentially been a bad thing, like, if, yeah, because, that was again like that was that was my biggest fucking problem 
amongst all my other big problems with Sinister 2 is that it spent the entire movie explaining so much about the mythology and the backstory. And we already learned that from the first fucking movie. This, yeah. this one needed more mythology. It just, it kept, like, that one kept mm. adding on more and more shit. It's like, you're making this so goddamn clunky at this point. For a ghost that, I'm sorry, but Ghoul is not an effective ghost. Like, this one... He sounds this like one a was. guy you would run into at a truck stop, if not for the fact that he just doesn't have a mouth or whatever. <laughs> like, I've seen yeah. people like that, like, fuck, go, go anywhere that's still open in this town at, like, 1 a.m., you'll see somebody who looks like that. Fuck, it's Bagul. <laughs> He's gonna jump out at us, that means our, that means our movie's over. It's like, oh, wait, nope, nope, just some, just some guy with scraggly hair who thought it'd be really sweet to wear a duster. Let's find out who this guy is, let's call it Vincent D'Onofrio and have him give us some exposition. <laughs> oh, man, but no, I would, okay. as I learned from the comments last week, apparently I have to think a movie's perfect in order to say that it's a rental. Um, what was that? Ghostbusters. Boy, did you miss a good time last week. I'm not talking about the movie. I'm talking about the feedback. Remember all the bitchy shit we got after Man of Steel? Multiply that by a thousand. Jesus Christ. That was the feedback on Ghostbusters. Which I was reading some reviews of that one. It did not sound that great. <laughs> it's not great. It's It didn't piss me off. In the video, I said it was eh. Which I stick by that. It was, eh, it was a thing. I laughed here and there at it enough to call it a rental, as I usually do on a comedy. If it'll make me laugh like a handful of times, okay, I've at least got to say it's a rental in that regard. Oh, that wasn't enough for some people. That was akin to me calling it a four-star movie. Jesus Christ! You either need to be all for it or all against Otherwise, it. Otherwise, I am fuck you. Clearly lying. I get called a liar a bunch of times. Yeah, I'm going to fall on my sword for Ghostbusters, you just, the you, remake. You just didn't see it at the right time. You were probably tired. <laughs> Wasn't that the problem with Man of Steel? You were that tired. That was one of them. <laughs> you're, probably just, you're probably just too tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should probably take a nap, watch it again. <laughs> it'll, it'll be so much better. Uh, uh, you just need to go into it refreshed. I mean, you know. I like you, you got brought up in the comments. I wasn't even there. That was the problem. They said, like, <laughs> why couldn't you have sent, why couldn't you have sent Dave and Brian to it? They would have given an honest review. <laughs> I think I responded. I said, Brian probably really wouldn't have liked this. I was like, Dave would think exactly what I'm saying, which is just, eh, I can't imagine Dave getting pissed off at the movie either. From everything I read about it, my honest review would have probably been the same. It was like, I don't know, rent it. Like, mm -hmm. it's like I still haven't seen it yet, so I can't say positively what way I would fall on it, but it just... He wouldn't like it. It doesn't sound good. It wasn't. I mean, it was, yeah, like I said, like it was a rental. Like, I said the same thing about fucking, like, Central Intelligence. I didn't get called a liar over that one. Oh, I like, this was good too. When I said in the video, I was like, there are two really extreme sides of this. You have one side that's being annoying and another side that's also being annoying. And then I got like, how dare you say that there are two extreme sides to this, asshole. <laughs> Reads one extremist point of view. <laughs> don't the, see the movie. Like, don't see the movie. Read the... You'll get way more laughs out of reading the comments for that video. Well, it's like whenever you, like... You, that's like whenever it's like a fucking, like, political issue. It's like, it's like oh, you, 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 you've you got Republicans and you got Democrats. And then you've got, like, like mm -hmm. one guy in the Senate who's always like, I'm an independent. But, like, it's like, yeah, but what side do you vote for? You can't mm -hmm. just be in the middle. It's like, yeah. I take even turn. Like, no, you have to be one or the other. <laughs> like, there's more uh, than... <laughs> oh, my God. So that was fun. Sounds like. You really missed out, man. Boy, howdy. Mm -hmm. Allison's safe. She's in Europe right now with Phelan. <laughs> she had to leave the country because of that shit. <laughs> it's like, I will not be here for the backlash. I booked two tickets. I am out. Allison liked the movie, so she got called a feminazi. <laughs> I thought this movie was okay. Typical feminist bullshit. <laughs> 
<laughs> one guy got one guy got really mad at me when he said like, "Dude, can you name any other movie that made men look as bad as this movie did?" And I responded and said, "I spit on your grave." <laughs> Dude did not like that. <laughs> All right. To be fair, that movie was that did portray all men as rapists. I've been so mad but, about that movie ever but since. Every man in it was a rapist. Every man in it was a rapist. So, I guess I should be offended by it. Yeah. Whatever. I got that movie on tape. I love that fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next. I don't know what next week is, but I'm gonna go back in and watch Star Trek. I think sometime over the weekend I'll try to see Ice Age 5. <laughs> oh, and random thing. Uh, to, bullshit small thing, but uh, no, uh, I am on Twitter now. Are you really? Fine, no, I, I <laughs> like Letty's been like the past couple days like looking at a bunch of stuff on Twitter. Yeah. She's like, you should be on Twitter. I, I was going to tweet this to you. You should be on Twitter. I'm like, like I, just, I, I don't understand Twitter. I'm like an 85 year old man like sitting down in front of a computer like, what's You'll Windows 95? I don't get this. What's your Twitter handle? Uh, it, it is the same thing I use for everything since high school. Uh, I, 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 Brian um, Potatoes 54. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shit, changing it now. <laughs> no, I am. I am. Uh, it's the same as like my my Instagram and everything. It's uh, at Torso Boy three two three. Oh, that is it's the same idea. thing I use for everything. All it's right. like my my PSN handle yeah. and, and all, everything else. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, I will potentially figure out Twitter. And until then, uh, I have one tweet that I managed to put up because it walked me through it in the tutorials. Like, now yeah, you, you want to do your first tweet? I'm like, yeah. So that's a thing now, so nice. everybody can... It's like, I'm on there, and stop following people who aren't me, but pretend to be online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For your first tweet, just hashtag Benghazi. <laughs> <laughs> just, just starting hard. <laughs> just going swinging for the fences. <laughs> and thus we leave you with Benghazi. <laughs> See ya.